Good day and welcome back to Chemistry Videos. My name is Clarissa Sorensen Unruh and today we're going to do something just a little bit different and that is talking about experiments and experimental design. So let's talk about that for a moment. And we're going to bring this down to the nuts and bolts of what we're thinking about, right? Experimental design can mean many things and have several layers that are part of it. But at the most basic layer, the idea here is that when you do an experiment, it's good to have a test group and it is that you actually do the experiment on. And then there is also, it's also good to have something that kind of remains the same, just to make sure that you have a baseline to go back to somewhat, some group that would be constitute kind of, okay, this is the normal. Okay, what do we do? What happens to the normal when we do this? Okay, those two kinds of groups we basically talk about as the control group. The control group is basically the baseline or the normal, right? And here, the group that we actually experiment on can be called lots of things. It can be called the experimental group. It can be called the test group or test subjects or it could be called the treatment group. That's the most often, most often connotation, treatment group. Because this is the group that you're actually going to do something to. Okay, in terms of thinking about experimental design, the most basic questions that we have to ask ourselves are basically three, three questions, right? We need to know who the subjects are. Who are we picking or what are we picking as the subjects um, and why them, right? So we need to think about that. We think, need to think about the independent variable. Independent variable. The independent variable is this idea that this is the variable that's going to be manipulated, right? This is the variable that's going to be manipulated by the experimenter. In terms of thinking about that for a moment, I've said variable now several times. What is a variable in its most basic sense? A variable is something that vary varies. That changes. Varies or changes. Right? That's different than a constant. A constant is something that doesn't change. It's the same. Okay, so you want that to be, um, you want to think about variables and constants, and you want the independent variable to be, you want this to kind of be the cause. Okay. Whatever you manipulate to cause something else. What is the something else you cause? Well, that is called the dependent variable. Boy, this is really squeaky. Let's see if I can get another blue here. Independent variable. That's squeaky too. Apparently, that's going to be my lot in life. Squeaky markers. All right, so this is what you're going to measure, right? So this is the variable that's measured. And this is going to be the effect, right? right? So if I have a cause, I should have an effect. And that's what I'm going to measure in the dependent variable. Okay? So, um, 
let's see, anything I'm, I'm looking at some notes here. The participants, yeah, so what we tend to say about the dependent variable is this is the dependence measured behavior when we're talking about behavioral science or human subjects research, right? So um, this is the behavior as an effect of the change that you've caused. Okay, these are the important things to consider. What am I going to change and what is that going to result in? Okay, if I'm going to change something for this group, then am I going to change the same kind of thing for this group? Okay, so usually when you're talking about an experiment, the best kinds of experiments, particularly in like the medical field, is to do some kind of placebo moment, right? So when you give a new drug or something along those lines to the test group to find out whether that has an effect on whatever you're testing on, like if they have, if that entire group has some kind of disease, then you would want to give the treatment group perhaps the new drug and then the control group should get something as well. Okay, that could be something that is currently on the market. It could be um, the uh, placebo kind of moment where you're, they're just given a sugar pill. Um, it could be something else that also is helpful. Um, certainly you have to think about something we call in science, it's called equipoise. Equipoise means that you cannot give the treatment group something that you know works and is exactly what is needed and then not give the control group that. That's not fair. It's not fair to give something that's already known to be good to one group and not the other when you're doing an experiment. Okay, so you have to give both groups something, but you're trying to keep this as a normal, right? You're trying to keep this as the baseline. So you're trying to say, okay, what do we know that um, we want to manipulate here, right? So that it causes some kind of effect. And that's gonna be in the treatment group. In the control group, if we don't have to consider human subjects or whatever, you would just keep that as the baseline and do and not manipulate something. The independent variable and dep the dependent variable would not be as true in the control group because you're keeping them as the control. They're the ones that stay the same, okay? So, in terms of thinking about this, there's lots of things to consider, but this is the most basic idea of what's going on in experimental design. We can talk about validity and reliability and all kinds of things in future videos. But until then, I'll, I bid you.